Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about finding the power of a product. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. Okay, so we have powers and products. We're dealing with some multiplication here and some exponents, some powers, okay? So let's go through a little example here. If we have the letters P and Q in parentheses, and we have that all to the third power. Well, we know to the third power is taking this PQ and multiplying it by itself three times. So we have P times Q times P times Q times P times Q, okay? And those are our three factors, and they're being, again, multiplied together. So now we can reorganize this, and since it's all really multiplications, let's put our P's together and our Q's together. So we have P times P times P times Q times Q times Q. Now you could show an extra step if you wanted to, showing the multiplication that goes on in between each of those, and then, then reorganizing it, but I think you get the gist. From there, three p's being multiplied is really just p to the third power, and the same thing with the three q's. That's q to the third power. And hopefully now we can see some connection between here, p to the third times q to the third, and this p, q, all to the third power. So let's get to our rule here. Our rule states the power of a product rule of exponents is... Let's put a little note here that a b to the n power is equal to a to the n power times b to the n power. Okay, and there's our special little rule here. So let's go through some examples here and see what we can do to simplify and practice this. So let me toss uh, well, I'll toss a right here. Okay, let's kind of break this down here. A. Let's say we're given a, B squared, and remember, the squared is just to the B, all to the third power, okay? Well, our rule states here that we can transfer this third power to each exponent on the inside, okay? And remember, what we need to do is, well, let's just write it out here before I get to that. We have now, that's A to the third power times B to the second power to the third power, okay? Now there's multiplication going on right there. All right, and we also know that that's a to the first power, okay? Right here, that little a to the first power. So if we see that, that's really, remember our rules here, we multiply the exponents, a to the one times three times b to the two times three, okay? And that just simplifies, I'll toss it on here in case I go off the screen. Well, one times three is three, so we have a to the third power, and then 2 times 3 is 6, so it's b to the 6th power, and there we have our answer, a to the 3rd times b to the 6th. So let's try another problem. Let's go with b. b tells us that we have 2t to the 15th power, okay? Now for each one of these, remember our rule, 2 itself is a base and t is a base, so that's 2 to the 15th power times t to the 15th power, and we can try to simplify this a little more. t to the 15th can't be simplified. 2 to the 15th, I don't know off the top of my head. If you do, let me know down below, but I sure don't. And it's 3 to 32,768, and then we have t to the 15th power, and there's our answer. Not too bad. Let's go with c right here. C, a little more complicated. We have a negative 2 w to the third power, all to the third power. Again, we apply the power of a product rule here. And we have, well, the negative 2. Remember, we, we kind of distribute, remember, this exponent to both parts. It's not the right way to say it, but that's essentially what we're doing. Negative 2 to the third power times w to the third, all to the third power. Okay, so negative 2 to the third power, well, we should know that off the top of our head, but if not, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, times a negative 2 is a negative 8. Then, 
remember we have to add our, our sorry, multiply our exponents, excuse me, almost made a mistake there. And so we have, well, w to the 3 times 3 power, which is equal to 3 times 3 is 9, w to the 9th power. And our answer is negative 8w to the 9th. Let's keep going. Let's keep this gravy train going, zooming in a little here. And let's have d. So d is 1 over a negative 7z to the 4th power. And what is that equal to? Okay. So notice it's in the denominator. We're going to try to simplify as much as we can uh, from there and see where we go. Okay. So we have 1 over, bringing it down a little, and we distribute that negative sign, or the, sorry, not the negative sign, the exponent. So we have negative 7 to the 4th power times z to the 4th power, using our rule here. Now negative 7 to the 4th power is going to be a positive number because it's an even exponent. And that is just 2,401. And we just have z to the 4th. And that's really it. We simplify it. It's 1 over 2,401 times z to the 4th. Lastly, let's get e out here. A little more complicated. Keeps getting harder, obviously e to the negative 2 power, f squared, all to the 7th power. Okay, so let's use our rule. We kind of, like I said, we're distributing, in a sense, that 7th power right there. And so we have e to the negative 2 to the 7th power times f squared to the 7th power as well. Keep simplifying, we multiply our exponents, so that's e to the negative 2 times 7 times f to the 2 times 7, okay? Now notice we're probably going to have a negative exponent here. Negative 2 times 7 is a negative 14, so we have e to the negative 14, and positive 2 times positive 7 is a positive 14, and that's f to the positive 14 power. So now from here, well, negative exponents, we know we can bring that to the denominator make it positive. So we just have f to the positive 14 over the e we're bringing down to the positive 14. And there we have our answer, f to the 14th power over e to the 14th power. So I hope you learned something here about the power of a product rule. And if you did, uh, like this video and comment down below and subscribe. Um, help us grow and make more math videos for you. And always, thanks for watching. Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com